thank you so much again for having a chat. Um, how's all the preparations for coming over next month? You know, I'm uh, I'm just you know there's so much going on here right now, so I'm just kind of uh taking day by day, and uh, right. yeah, I'm really really looking forward to uh you know finally leaving. I mean, it's been we've been working on it for years, so it just feels like ah, oh, all right, here we go. You know, finally. <laughs> Oh, you because you was going to come over in twenty twenty, wasn't you? Because obviously, but obviously, COVID and everything. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. So, how how has it been since then? How is everything going, like day to day and everything with you? No, it's go. Cool. It's it's very good. Uh, it's you know busy. Uh, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to get enough sleep and trying to be prepared for everything that I'm doing. And uh, also uh, trying to write as much music as I can uh, mm -hmm. and uh, trying to be happy, you know, normal human being. Well, I like to hear that. Yeah. To make sure that you're happy. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Um, so you had an album out last year. Um, so is that what you're going to be like the songs from that album will be what you're performing on this tour? Well, you know, I, um, I like to mix it up. I think it's a, I'm finally at a place where I can kind of pick uh, uh, different songs because I have three albums out, so I can just be like, "Well, today I'm gonna do this one and this one." And oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, know. And I remember I used to dream about that starting out. Like maybe one day I'll have that I can pick songs and not just only do because we only have ten, but now I have like 30, 40 songs. So, but yeah, to answer your question, we will definitely play most of the new ones and the old ones that uh, me and the band really like and the best songs basically oh excellent okay a bit more fun for for you guys as well playing the songs that that you like better sort of thing so that it's a bit more fun on stage then isn't it yeah definitely excellent I, i've seen a few um videos of you live on stage mm -hmm. and um it looks very impressive i love the energy thank you so much thank you it's good i am um, i unfortunately can't make it to either of your shows but um and once I saw those videos I was like oh I might have to try and change my plans it looks like <laughs> a good gig <laughs> I love it you're, you're very welcome if, if it works out oh if I can work it out I will because it, it just looked like um even like the shots of the crowd and things like that it looks like everyone's having a great time and the songs are great and that that is great I mean um obviously with COVID it's changed the music industry so much the last few years how, how has it been in in your country and with live uh, music well you know I, I think we are now kind of noticing uh the effects of it uh because last year people were like oh it's open and everybody's going out and everything was kind of sold out and people were just starving uh to do stuff but now people are like really slow when it comes to buying tickets like they buy mm -hmm. Yeah, like they say the day before, and it's impossible, I think, for venues and festivals to, to even know like how this is going to go because people mm -hmm. are, especially in Norway, I don't know if it's like that in the UK, but slow. And I also think a kind of not prioritizing um, music and concerts in the same way. I think they maybe forgot how much they like it. Mm -hmm. So they just need to be reminded, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, indeed. I, mean, I think. I think it was just over a year when I, mm -hmm. I found like f between gigs and I knew I missed it yeah. but once I was actually at the gig I was like yeah I've missed this right I've really missed this so so yeah hopefully that that will start to pick up yeah I hope so excellent are, are you working on on your on new songs maybe to release another album well you know I'm that's always kind of thing that, you know, um, stresses me out. The fact that I, you know, have to um, be productive and be creative, even on the days where you don't feel like it. But mm -hmm. it's it's my job, so I really don't have a choice. So, oh. you know, but I'm, I'm fine. Like, it's been a year since I released uh, my last album, and I haven't been able to write anything up. But now in August, I've been very productive, and it feels so great to be back and just... Because it, it's it's about like my confidence as well. You feel like 
like shit, I'm sorry to say it, but when you're not actually writing anything, I just feel worthless in many ways to be dramatic. But you get what I'm saying. It's my, the English that is, yeah. is no, not the very good. No, but. I get what you mean, because yeah. that's what you're good at. If if you're not being good at it, it's, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Right. It kind of feels you need to be, but you just something inside is not letting you sort of thing. Yeah. Yes. I, I get that, but I'm glad you're feeling a lot more productive. Now. Thank you. Have, have you been taking lots of inspiration from from the season changes? Now, now uh, that it's a, a little bit later. <laughs> well, maybe, but I th I think it's more um it's like a muscle that kind of has to be trained and be be active. And with me not writing for so long and not being motivated, it's it's um. It's like, it's like it's dry nothing is happening and I had to train it back up again so I've been I've been going in the studio as much as I could but nothing came out but all of a sudden it just kind of opened up a little bit so I know that I haven't lost it and uh, so yeah I look at it like a muscle actually no that, that that's a good way of thinking about it like getting into training like say say you haven't been to the gym in months and months and it, it's just getting that oomph to go back in it's yeah and then when you get there it's like yay so, yeah. I know I know oh exactly oh well I'm I'm glad that you, you you feel so good and everything about it now so that's excellent um are you gonna be doing anything else when you're over here in the UK is it just the two gigs or are you gonna be doing anything else well you know I don't think we have the time I would love to stay for for some extra days but uh, I have to go back but um uh no I don't think I will we'll have the time to do anything else we we are going to france uh the day before we are going to the uk so right. we'll just be like four days on the road and then head back home but the goal is like you know we go to the uk now and hopefully uh someone will want us to come back at some point so that's kind of like the the goal here <laughs> oh yeah yeah get yourself seen most yeah. definitely and then, and then people want to want you to come back indeed so um so have you got lots of other gigs and everything planned yeah, you know it's been a it's been a great summer. I mean, uh, festival summer and everything. We've had uh, some very uh, cool gigs, um, and the, this fall also is uh, is looking very good um, with the UK tour and also uh, many shows in Norway. So I'm so I'm I'm, I'm good for this year, and uh, you never know what next year is going to bring. But uh, exactly. for now, I feel yeah, I just feel you know it's been a good year. So. Um, yeah, I'm just thankful, and it's been a lot of fun. Awesome, yeah, because obviously all the, the festivals and things is where people that don't get to, well, didn't get to see you beforehand have now seen you, and mm -hmm. and there'll be the new fans that come to your gigs uh, next yeah. year. Yes, that's it. Excellent. I hope that's how it works out. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> um, so, um, like how long um, have you been playing music is it sort of like a, a lifelong thing uh well um I, I grew up in like a, um, a music family so oh. yeah so it was music all the time and I think as a I'm the youngest of four siblings so uh, I was just like this is a lot of noise and I really don't like it and I would prefer if you just be quiet for a minute <laughs> you know yeah. Uh, and also I'm super introverted so I just I just hid in my room and uh, so I I wanted to do something completely different than music uh, but when I was 15 I picked up the guitar for the first time and um, it came very natural to me to to play music and to express it and because I guess I have it in me for some reason and <laughs> um, <laughs> and then it just all kind of made sense and I went all in on um, on the music thing and worked my ass off and still doing it. So I've, I I just think it's it's a part of me, I guess, to be cliche, but it is what it is. No, I know that there are some people you can definitely tell that music is built into them. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Um, mm -hmm. I'm quite jealous. I'm not musical at all. My husband is, but I'm not. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> no, oh. I, 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 I was very bad at the drums and guitar and he tried to get me to play the bass and that just yeah. no. so so I leave it all to him <laughs> well that's fine <laughs> someone has I, to do it I, I, I watch it's fine it's um 
And uh, what what do you take um, inspiration from when you're writing? Is there anything in particular that insp that has inspired you in the past? Maybe life experiences or anything like that. Right. Well, you know, I think that um um I think as everybody says, you know, it's it's life in general. And when you're not living or and experiencing things, what are you supposed to write about? Mm -hmm. And I have noticed that like going through a terrible breakup was like, perfect for my songwriting. And uh, I wrote an album that was actually nominated for a Grammy here in Norway during that breakup. So that was very good. <laughs> Thank you to my ex. Uh, and now that I'm at the, my girlfriend now, I wrote 17. So it's not that everything is, a, it's love songs, but it's about where you're at mentally and it's just a, how you're feeling you need to feel something just mm -hmm. something and mm -hmm. but usually it's it's just listening to a song a great song can give me like you know that i want to write a song like that right. you know like with that groove or with that kind of um yeah so but it, i would say music and just life is what keeps me going yeah, um, I've heard some musicians say that they they write songs about their experiences to sort of like let out that emotion to feel mm -hmm. a release sort of thing. So, yeah, so it's 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 good. <laughs> it's good. It's like therapy. Uh, I would call it sometimes. Well, like like you said with the album about breaking up with your ex, that that was brilliant. That was was <laughs> it was perfect. It was just the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah. I love it and well yeah. done on the Grammy I, I I saw that it was um yeah that's fantastic that was cool and I I've heard rumors that we almost won but um well you know it was close it was close that that just means yeah. that next time you will win I hope so fingers <laughs> crossed <laughs> that'll be the next album that'll be fine yeah, yeah. that'll be the next one mm -hmm. okay um brilliant um Thank you. Yeah, we got through that a lot quicker than I thought we would. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, is, is there anything else you wanted to 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 say about uh, like coming to the UK or anything you've got coming up that you want to put in there as well? Well, you know what? I just want to say that um, uh, that I, I really can't wait to finally come and play a show with my band in the UK because it's a uh, uh, it's a it's, it's a dream of mine, and the fact that we're actually going is kind of insane. Uh. <laughs> So I'm just super excited. And like, if there are 10 people showing up or if it's sold out, it doesn't really matter as long as people are happy with the show and the people who are there wants to see us play. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just, 